I wrote this movie live based on peppermint. So here we go. The title is <laughs> the title is frozen guacamole. <laughs> It's just it's frozen. The last flavor she ordered before she got in. Get out of here with the frozen guacamole. Uh. Hey everyone, welcome to day 72 of What I Learned Today. And what I learned today is that modern dating is a very awkward and confusing topic. So tonight I had my radio show with Colin and TJ and it went pretty all right, but that's not what this video is about. We went out to Taco Bell afterwards. It's starting to become like a little bit of a tradition. TJ probably isn't too happy about that because he's trying to save some money, but we went to Taco Bell and we started talking about dating, the topic of this video. And what I realized from this conversation is that all three of us have different experience levels with dating. Um, I'm not going to call anyone out, but myself, I'm 22 and I've dated probably four people officially. I know it sounds really bad that I can't count, but I, it's just on the spot. I don't keep that number in my back pocket, especially since I'm dating someone currently. Why would I keep that number in my back pocket? And then another person hasn't really dated, um, but he's like gone out on dates with people. Um, he has someone back home that he really cares about and he's like slept the night with some girls. And then the other one doesn't really have a whole lot of dating experience at all. So we kind of covered all the bases for our dating experience. We have someone with very limited experience, someone with a moderate level of dating. And then me, I've had four relationships that have lasted over a year. But despite all this and all of our different experience levels, we still don't get dating. None of us. We basically determined that we don't really know how to date people or to ask people on dates or just go out and, and meet people. It's, it's just a thing that none of us really have grasped. And speaking from my personal experience, I don't really know how to casually date people. So a lot of people when they talk about dating is like, They'll go ask someone on a date and then they'll go on like three or four and they're like seeing each other and it's very casual and they don't want to be boyfriend or girlfriend. But to me, I've always dated someone and basically immediately became boyfriend and girlfriend and it became very serious. And I, my brain never really figured out the whole really casual thing. And Colin and TJ, despite having different experience than I have with dating and relationships, we still don't understand how dating works. And honestly, does anybody really understand anymore? Our relationships are so complex with technology and we're all also interconnected digitally that interpersonal relationships in general are very challenging. For some reason, every interaction that we have with people has to go through a certain lens of digital experience. It's not very often where we can just meet someone face to face and then talk to them. There's always these complications and these factors that are put into it. And I think that's really evident in the fact that there are a lot of people that don't know how to date right now. I think our discussion with the three of us was very indicative of a larger problem of which a lot of people just don't know how to date. And it's also possible that we're just nerds and we're very socially awkward or at least have been. And not a whole lot of people are inherently attracted to that and we kind of have to put ourselves out there and it's a little bit harder for us so it's very possible that it's just that we don't know how to date because of our personalities and our interests which is i am 100 percent on board with that is totally fine that's basically what i learned today is that no matter what our experience was dating was still a very complex fickle thing to learn for all three of us now on a feelings time really quick, what made me feel negative is that I'm going on this trip later this weekend and a lot of this stuff is really piling on with this past weekend being really crazy and then this coming weekend, I'm, I mean I'm leaving tomorrow night and then we're going to go off and it's just everything is suddenly like an accordion. It was like what? and then now it's bam all compressed so I just had to get a lot of stuff done. I got really stressed about how much work I had to get done. But what made me feel positive is that I had a wonderful breakfast with my mom before I left their house to come back up to school. And of course I'm getting pretty excited about this weekend. So if you made it this far you might as well hit that subscribe button and comment down below an awkward experience you've had with dating. Uh, it could have been 
a casual dating or dating long term? What kind of awkward experiences have you had? And leave that comment down below so we can all learn a little bit about dating and grow together. And with that, I'll see you tomorrow. What do you got there? Whoa, ferocious. Oh my goodness. The beaver had no chance. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.